Um, it's uh, Tuesday the 9th of November and I'm checking on my hives again and uh, here we have some bees uh, congregating around a ventilation hole that I drilled near the top of the hive. Um, this allows moisture to escape in the winter. Um, that's the idea of it, but that they've also used it as an alternate entrance. But what's kind of interesting is you have some wasps also um, milling around trying to get into the hive. There's one right there. There's a wasp right there. And uh, here's another one. The, not sure if you can see that. That's a wasp. That's a yellow jacket. And there's another one. They're definitely interested in getting in. And uh, they're occasionally trying to get in through this ventilation hole, but the mm. bees aren't letting them. So it's kind of an inter interspecies battle to protect the hive. Uh, wasps are carnivores, which means they eat meat. In other words, they will eat a bee. Uh, bees are vegetarians. They only eat nectar and pollen and other plant-based products. There's another wasp. And wasps, because they're hunters, have a sting that can be reused. So if you do get stung in the summer by an insect, probably it was a wasp because they can sting multiple times, whereas uh, bees can only sting once. They do it for self-defense or defense of their, their hive. Those are wasps right there. And these darker yellow, fuzzier creatures are the honeybees. They often get confused and mixed up, and usually the wasps give the bees a bad reputation. Anyway, I thought that was an interesting thing to show here, and uh, it's kind of hard for me to zoom with one hand. There we go. I can't even see if I'm showing that, but that's a wasp right there. Yeah, these are the honeybees here. Right there. Getting into their ventilation hole. Anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting.